Hey, Pixel Boy. I haven't seen you since you started playing World of Warcraft. I know. Weren't you going to start a letter writing campaign against me? I was, but nobody wrote me back. Well, that's what you get for trying to interfere with my rogue. I don't feel like talking about World of Warcraft today. What's wrong, Pixel Girl? Keith Kane is no longer touring with Vertical Horizon. Um, what? You heard me. What the hell are you talking about? Vertical Horizon. They released that song, Everything You Want, back in 1999. You don't remember them? We weren't even alive in 1999. Which means that you are far too young to be playing World of Warcraft. I thought we weren't talking about that. I'll deal with you later. In the meantime, Vertical Horizon started in 1991 at Georgetown University. The founding members were Matt Scannell and Keith Kane. Alright. They began as an acoustic duo and released one album, There and Back Again, in 1992. Over the next seven years, they added and changed band members and released three more albums, ending in 1999's critical and commercial success, Everything You Want. And this is where most people lose track of the band. Go on. Those die-hard loyal fans who know talent when they hear it and were patient and caring enough to keep reading and listening know that Vertical Horizon, up until recently, was still alive and thriving. They were touch and go for a while, only releasing two albums over the past ten years, but they were still there. The bassist Sean Hurley and drummer Ed Toth left the band to be replaced by new drummers and bassists, but the band remained Vertical Horizon. And all was good, because Matt Scannell and Keith Kane were still a part of the band. So what's the problem? The problem is that Keith Kane is no longer touring with Vertical Horizon. So what is the band now? I don't know. Maybe the Matt Scannell solo project. It doesn't make sense. Will you miss them? Of course I will miss them. Vertical Horizon is my favorite band. Have you ever seen them perform? Yes. Let me think. There was Allentown in 2001, Washington and New York in 2005, Philadelphia and New York in 2009 that makes five concerts. Six if you count the XM Satellite Show in Washington in 2005. Oh, and nine if you count the three Keith Kane solo performances in 2008. You have seen them perform nine times. Ish. How did you see them perform nine times if you were born long after they started touring? And how did you leave the Pixel Universe to make this happen? Let it go, Pixel Boy. You have a small brain. So you have seen them perform nine times? Sort of. And you have seen Keith Kane perform solo before? Yes. How was his performance? Wonderful. Keith Kane is fully capable of holding his own on a solo tour. So what is the big deal? Pardon? You've seen the band six times as a full band. And you have also seen Keith Kane perform as a solo artist. They both gave good performances. Is Matt Scannell still touring? Yes. He is still touring under the name Vertical Horizon. And is Keith Kane still touring? I believe so. Then you now have double the music to look forward to. But the band isn't the same. So, things change. Get used to it, and support both artists' solo careers. It's what you have to do. I don't like change. I know that. Is that why you hate World of Warcraft? No. I hate World of Warcraft because it destroys pixel robots from the inside out and changes them. So it's because you hate change. I guess so. I miss you, Pixel Boy. I know that, Pixel Girl. But now, I need to go level up. Goodbye. I hate you. You love me. Shut up, you bastard. Oh, look. I'm at level 21. Go to Pixel Hell, Pixel Boy.